Hello everyone and welcome to a new video and today I'm going to show you how to change your mouse DPI to 800. It's very easy and simple, all you have to do is to follow my steps and before we begin, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe and turn on the notifications. Now to change your mouse DPI, you have two main options to do that. The first option is to see which mouse brand you have and simply download its software and change the DPI using its software but this will only work if your mouse has its own software application but here in my case i'm using a mouse that has no program to adjust the dpi it has no software so if you are having a logitech or a razor mouse you can simply download logitech software or razor software and adjust the dpi without any problem but here in my case, I will show you how to do that exactly, even if your mouse doesn't have a software to do so. And now let me clarify something. When you go to the search bar and type mouse settings, then go to additional mouse settings and click on pointer options. When you change this option right here, pointer speed, it will not actually change your mouse DPI. And also, if it does, it won't show you how DPI you have got right now so what are we gonna do right now is to simply see how much dpi you have on your mouse currently then multiply the number till we get the 800 dpi that we want so what i'm gonna do right now is to open my browser type here in the google search dpi analyzer and make sure to enter this website here www.mousesensitivity.com Click on it, then it will show you this website right here. And now what you're going to do is to scroll down till you find this roller right here. This is the thing that we are going to use to measure our DPI. Now what you're going to do is to set a target distance. I'm going to choose 10 for example. And you can also choose the units. I'm going to use 10 centimeters. And... I will now set the same measurements on my mouse pad here. So I'm going to bring a roller as you can see, then set my mouse on the zero and drag it till I get 10 centimeters. Now let's do that using the roller right here. So I'm going to click on this thing right here, then drag about 10 centimeters now i've dragged to about 10 centimeters now it showed me that i have got 409 dpi which we can actually say that we have 400 dpi here in my case and you can also try to measure it again in order to make sure so i'm gonna measure it again and now here as you can see it showed me also 403 so let's say that we have 400 and now this is my actual dpi by this way you have completed the first step now what you're gonna do is to open a new tab then type in google row cell now get into this link right here from github click on it now click on releases page then it will show you the latest version of the program scroll down till you find this non-extracted folder row excel version 1.6.1 so click on it and it will download and after downloading all you have to do right now is to extract the file as you can see by this way then open the file extracted and now what you're gonna do after opening the folder is to click on installer double click in order to install this software then click on yes click on the Y for example and by this way you have installed the application but you should first restart your pc so i'm gonna restart my pc right now then come back and now after restarting you can now open this application and run it as administrator now after opening this application as you can see now you have this number right here since multiplier and this is what are we gonna change in order to get our desired dpi now you have to get your calculator and simply calculate the value of this multiplier so we are going to divide two values the first value is the desired dpi which here in my case is 800 
then divide it by the current DPI that you have, which in my case is 400. And now here, as you can see, it has this number. So all you have to do now is to copy this number and put it in the multiplier, then click on apply. Now, here, as you can see, my DPI has been multiplied and now it's 800. When you go back to the DPI analyzer and try to see your current DPI, you will see that it has been changed to 800. And you can also click on reset to reset back your DPI. So it's very easy as you can see. Now let's say that you want to change it to 1000 DPI. So what you're going to do is to divide 1000 by your current DPI, which is 400. And as you can see, I have this multiplier. So I'm going to copy it and put it here, then click on apply. And as you can see now, it has been applied. Now the sensitivity or the DPI is 1000. I'm going to reset it right now. And by this way, you will be able to change your DPI, but make sure to open this application every time you open your PC and put in since multiplier, then click on apply and go play whatever game you want. And that's all for today. I hope this video is useful to you all. Thanks for watching and see you in a new video.